Where's Jones? Mm. What's up guys? This is Sunset Arts. I am Radio back with another review. Today I am reviewing Hunter Hunted uh, and their latest album, Ready For You. And yes, they were ready for me. I actually discovered this band by just going to a show and you know, they were an opening band and I was interested and it was something different from whatever I was listening to. But anyways, let's get into the review. This is something different guys, not totally different, but off of, for me, it's something that's a blend of things that I like listening to and something else. My first, you know, thoughts of this record, Ready For You, is I thought was unappealing at first, but then it, it kind of grew on me. This record is, feels like an EP, but, you know, let's get into it and I'll explain why. Go, you know, with the title track, the first track, Ready For You. It's a beautiful opening with a little keyboard. Bloop, 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 bloop. Foreshadowing of how the record's kind of gonna be. There's a lot of depth instrumentally. Um, you know, lyrically, you know, they aren't the most mature band, not saying like they're immature, but like, you know, they just need to develop a little bit more. Another thing I do like about Ready For You, it's a good opener and it's kind of just telling them, hey, we're hunter and hunted, you know, we're here, you know, we're ready for you guys. Even though I'm probably lyrically, it's something about that, something else. Another song I liked off the record uh, was Ghost. This is a breakup song, but it kind of felt like a breakup song and I kind of like had some kind of connections there. See you girl and I'll see you. Boom, boom, peace. I would say, you know, the first four or five songs off the record are very appealing for me, I would say. Um, I would say for anyone else, you know, they would listen to it, I, they would probably say the first four or five songs would be, you know, probably their stronger tracks. Going into, the, you know, the back half of the album, I feel like my favorite song off that back half is Float because I just love the mix and then the sampling of like bleep, 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 bleep. I, can't, I don't remember the word. And that was another problem I kind of had with the record though was that, you know, the lyrically it was very hard to remember the lyrics besides the choruses are like the little like cheers and anthems and that's what you kind of get you know there's two singers sometimes I feel though you know that you know hopefully later on the you know one of the singers kind of takes charge hey yo girl that me that me I feel like there's a lot of potential this record kind of reminds me of like listening to a little bit of like a blend of like RK Fire, Imagine Dragons, and like Walk the Moon with like Hunter and Hunter's own little spin on it. And I I very much enjoyed this record. Dora Mar. Dora Mar had like a little bit more emotion, a little bit more vulnerability. Um but you know I think like the like a like the reason why I didn't like the last part of the record it was just it felt not overdone. I just like after you got to do the first four to five songs, it just kind of you kind of knew what was coming, even though there was something little sprinkles there of like you know potential like bangers. But I feel like this band has a lot a lot of room to grow, and I can't wait to hear them uh, again. And you know my final thoughts, I would say if you like Walk the Moon, you like Imagine Dragons, I would take give this a listen to. If you like alternative music, give it a listen to. If you like pop music, give it a listen to. I would say if it's a stretch, if you are like an Arcade Fire fan, I don't think you're gonna really connect that easily. Also, I think you know the mixing is done well. It's really clean. Maybe a little bit too much filter. I'm Radio. You know, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. If you didn't like this, it's all right. Maybe one of your friends like it, so you know, go share it with them. Leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about the record. Tell you, tell us what you didn't like, what you liked. You know, whatever. You know, give some comments. So uh, we'll see you guys later in another review, and it's probably gonna be like I'm probably gonna be wearing the same shirt. So whatever. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, Marco.